Welcome to another Put the Power Down video, and it is about time that I've made another video and finally uploaded. The video that you guys are actually about to watch happened right before I came to school. I'm actually in my dorm room right now recording this for you guys. This is my lamp and, of course, my TV right here uh, sitting on my desk right now. So, like I said, I'm in my dorm room just filming this video for you guys, basically doing uh, kind of a follow-up of what happened because uh, I didn't really get to finish filming the video because I had actually filmed uh, previous car reviews during that day. And basically what happened was the Mustang broke down on me. It was a white Mustang GT. I took it out from the dealership just to do some quick filming of the vehicle real quick and you know I don't really know what happened actually I did figure out what happened but I'll explain later on in the video exactly what happened so before I go ahead and play the video I'd also like to mention that I do have an Instagram so you guys can follow me at put the power down I put a lot of stories up there also do follow me on snapchat add me on snapchat you definitely do have a lot of stories on there as far as what I'm doing on my day-to-day -day basis here at Liberty University uh, like I've told you guys before um, I'm in marching band and of course doing you know 15 credit hours so that's the, your average, uh, your normal uh, hours for any type of student really. So you know I am fairly busy along with marching man and I also do have a job on top of that. So you know I do keep busy here and that's why I haven't been able to upload for you guys recently. So I do apologize about that. But uh, you know definitely did want to go ahead and get this video out to you guys. Like I said in my previous videos I at least want to upload once a week. If that doesn't happen it's because I have something uh, going on like a paper. Or I'm just really busy like I said marching man job in school. So you know I can get pretty uh, locked up. But I'm going to go ahead and cut to the video and enjoy. Welcome to another Put the Power Down video and right now I am actually inside of a broken down Mustang. Now it is not my Mustang, it is actually the dealers that I have a deal with and you know I take the cars out and I do reviews, you guys have probably seen those, if not, uh, if you're new to the channel well, I have a bunch of reviews. Kind of an interesting experience for you, uh, for me at least. I've never been in a broken down vehicle, um, you know it's just kind of weird uh, sitting here right now waiting and you know. I guess the topic of this video is probably what happens when a, a vehicle breaks down and you're doing a review and I guess I'm going to figure out now but first I got to get out the vehicle and flag down the uh, dealer guy. So as you guys just saw I'm sitting on the side of the road inside of the vehicle not really knowing what just happened with the vehicle. Uh, so as you guys just saw, I'm sitting on the side of the road, inside of the vehicle, you know, just trying to really gather my thoughts exactly what just happened. Uh, you know, I was just really trying to shift the gears. I think I went from first to second or maybe it was second to third. Uh, basically, see, this is why I don't like filming in dorms. I don't know what that was. I think it was a chair. Anyways. So basically, like I just said before, whatever that sound was downstairs, I was trying to basically shift the gears, and when I pushed the clutch in, it got kind of stuck, and it didn't come back towards me, and I couldn't go in any gear while the car was on. So yeah, I'm just kind of sitting there, and I call the dealer up, and I say, hey, I'm in one of your vehicles, and of course, you know, they're not really used to having vehicles go out and break down on people, because not too many people, you know, take vehicles out and review them, uh, like I was doing that day. And so basically, you know, it's kind of weird for them to get the call in the... Uh, basically you know I thought they were gonna send the service guy out and I thought they were gonna uh, I thought what I saw was a truck coming uh, so that's why I said oh, I gotta flag down this guy make sure he sees me turns out he was just actually just delivering parts because uh, you know a lot of dealers they have uh, you know they get parts from the factory from Ford and whatnot sometimes they deliver them out to you know different shops and whatnot if they order them or you know they just get parts and work on their own vehicles in the service station let alone so this guy was just out there uh, you know delivering parts and I thought he was actually one of the technicians to come out and look at the vehicle because uh, keep in mind I was only about uh, maybe roughly three miles away from the actual dealer so you know I thought they would have gotten out there pretty fast but uh they did not send that guy that guy actually didn't even know uh didn't even see me at all trying to flag him down once I got outside of the vehicle so then I ended up standing outside of the vehicle and I'll go ahead and cut to that clip all right guys I just got a call from the dealer and they said that they um I guess they're gonna send the service guy out here for me um so I get I mean it's been about 20 minutes uh, you guys don't know that but I guess it's been about 20 minutes I've been uh, from when I from when I called them, so I was out here trying to get a hold of them for a while. It's not their fault at all. I'm pretty sure they're not used to having cars break down and then having to come pick someone out. So you know, just on the side of the road here, still with the uh, Mustang there. Hope you guys can see that. But yep. So as you guys just saw, I'm outside of the vehicle trying to flag down the guy, and of course it failed. So you know, I'm just kind of looking at the Mustang like, wow, the thing still looks good, even though I'm stuck here on the side of the road. I'm oddly admiring the S550 body style still. Anyways, but um, it was actually convenient where I was broken down because I was right in front of a tow truck yard, and it was kind of in a sketchy part of town, uh, Charlotte. If you guys know where Sugar Creek is, you know it's not. You know they're trying to improve the area, but you know it's still not 
a place where you would prefer to be, let alone broken down and whatnot on the side of the road. So, uh, you know, this is about two hours in. I'm kind of stuck there. And uh, a tow truck, since I'm in front of broken down in front of the tow truck yard, the tow truck driver actually returns when I think it was actually the owner. And he comes out and, you know, he, was, he wasn't really dressed up or anything like that. So I couldn't really tell. He kind of looked sketchy too in a way. But um, he asked me what did I need help. And I said, well, yeah, you know, I don't really know what's going on with the car. Uh, and I kind of at this point I had kind of formed an idea that it might be the slave cylinder uh, And if you guys have watched my video uh, my previous videos, you know that my slave cylinder actually had an issue in my car Which I'll get to in this uh, later on in the video about Mustang slave cylinders, but um uh, so I explained to the guy what was kind of going on and what I think it might be and he said well can he get in the car and he uh, you know it was still on so he got in and he just kind of pushed the clutch and then he's like can I try and move it and I said yeah and we well, know not really like, thinking about it and thinking about where I was on the side of town uh, he was you know sketchy part of town he was kind of sketchy too even though I could tell that he was in a tow truck I didn't know him so he basically just got into a car that wasn't mine and drove it off and you know i was just kind of as he was driving away i just kind of thought about it. i was like hold on i just let a guy who i don't really know get into a you know a 25 thirty thousand dollar vehicle uh that's not mine so i wasn't <laughs> that kind of freaked me out a bit but luckily he was honest and whatnot you know he was genuine and so he uh, turned the vehicle around and told me it was most likely the slave cylinder uh and basically agreed with what i had thought and you know told me uh actually he was able to get the vehicle to go he uh he so he actually turned it off and then he was able to put the vehicle in gear uh and he had to rev it up really high and basically in a way launch the car to get it to go to get everything to uh basically get the clutch to con um, connect to the transmission and everything and it was just really I, I don't really know how to explain it to you guys as far as the mechanics behind it and the uh everything what was going on but it was just a ton of orange smoke that came out from under the vehicle as he drove away and you know I, I, I've never seen anything like this like at all so I just don't really know what was going on but uh, he told me you know turn it off and you could probably put it back to the dealer because I was only about two or three miles away from the dealership so I basically ended up getting in the car and I putted it back I, I was just only driving because I couldn't switch gears I had to stay in first gear and I think this Mustang GT particularly had 355 gear ratios so so, you know, I was stuck in first gear that entire time. It was only going about you know 25 miles an hour because I didn't want to rev the car way up high. You know, trying to the speed limit. I had my hazards on. And here's that video of me actually taking the car back to the dealership. All right, guys. So just to give you guys an update, I am currently driving back to the dealer. I was able to get the car in gear, like I think I said before. Um, I this broke down around three or two. 2 o'clock and it's been about an hour and 30 minutes on the side of the road. I was able to basically turn the car off, put it in neutral, and slide in the gear by putting the clutch in. Uh, i guessing, I'm not a mechanic as you guys know, nor do I try and be. I'm pretty sure that it is a, uh, a slave cylinder if something is going on with that. I actually had an issue with that on my car, but I feel like this is way worse. I feel like this is what happens when the car completely goes out. Um, that is just my guess. Like I said, I'm not a mechanic. Um, like I said, uh, the issue is basically I cannot put the car in gear. I'm stuck in first gear right now, just cruising back to the dealer. So definitely be a long drive, guys. All right. So as you guys just saw, I'm actually taking the car back to the dealership, uh, and my camera actually died shortly after that. So um, basically, what they did was they took the vehicle. You know, I took them to the service department. I heard a call previously, and you know, told them, "Hey, I'm coming in. Uh, I was able to get the car rolling. It's said good." Because uh, at first, I was actually good, just gonna wait for a tow truck, but I had to wait for Ford's uh, tow truck service to come out to me, and they sold me about two to three hours. And keep in mind, I had already been out there for about two hours, and it was a really hot day. I think it was like 92 yeah. degrees or something like that so basically I didn't really want to wait so as soon as I got the car going uh, you know I was very happy to get the car back on the road and once I got the back to the dealership you know they took it in uh, the next day I actually went into the dealership and I saw the car was up and whatnot you know I talked to them about it and you know they definitely confirmed 100% that it was a slave cylinder that went out and here's what my thing is with this uh, it's kind of weird because um, like I said already early in the video that my slave cylinder actually was bad So seeing that this slave cylinder was bad I don't really know if there's a problem with the stock uh, s550 Mustang slave cylinders 
um, you know, it is kind of concerning that the, at least me personally, I've had this problem twice. Even though it wasn't my car, I've encountered this twice on a Mustang. So hopefully it doesn't happen on my vehicle again. But, you know, I even checked the Carfax of that vehicle. Now, the vehicle that it happened on, it had about 25,000 miles. Uh, it also had a very, very loud exhaust system. I mean, that thing. It had no resonator. I couldn't tell what exhaust it had underneath. Um, actually, that's the same vehicle that you guys saw in my uh, The Best Summer Ever video. Uh, you know, where basically I'm talking about what I did over the summer and whatnot. Uh, so I couldn't tell. Basically, I could tell that that owner, the owner of that car, you know, he knew about aftermarket parts and whatnot. So basically, he was a car guy and he probably did beat on that car a little bit. Uh, so, you know, that probably could have been, uh, you know, part of the cause to worn out the part faster. Who knows what he did to it. So, but I definitely know I didn't you know beat on my clutch so, to the point to where you know it should have started messing up I'm not sure exactly what he did like I said but you know it's just something that's kind of in my mind a little you know what's going on with that but uh, overall I kind of learned what happens at least in my case in my situation what happens when a vehicle breaks down when you're doing a car review definitely not fun on my part uh, you know not really knowing what was going on at first and kind of just guessing like I said I'm not a mechanic uh, but I had to you know, figure it out my, myself and then get people to confirm it and just get back to the dealership essentially. Uh, and later that day I just went on to, you know, go film other stuff and whatnot. But, uh, you know, thanks for watching the video. Um, like, subscribe, uh, comment down below on what you guys think of what happened in the video. Uh, you know, just our comment or what you guys would like to see. I'm actually thinking about doing a video exactly what my day-to-day -day life is. Uh, or what I generally do on a day-to-day -day schedule because if you guys have seen some of my Snapchat stories, some of you guys have already asked what I do uh, as far as work and whatnot. And you guys, I told you I'm in marching band already. And some of you guys think that's pretty cool because, you know, you haven't really seen the behind the scenes of that type of stuff. So if you guys would like a, I guess, a vlog type style or something like that of what goes on, you know, I'll, I'll make one of those. But definitely like the video, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in another video. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.